A convent on Randolph Street next to St. Therese Catholic Church is being bought by a man who plans to turn it into a temporary housing facility with the goal of housing people in need for up to 30 days. Lior Ron and his nonprofit, The House Collective, have one mission. To mitigate, alleviate, if not eradicate homelessness. Um, so it's open to those who are coming from different walks of life that have a need for affordable housing. The building is currently owned by the Passionate Sisters Order of Nuns, who believe in what Ron wants to do. Yes, the sisters are very much you know, supportive of helping anybody that is in need, and they've made that very clear to me. So, Ron made an offer to purchase the convent, and they accepted. We are now under, officially under contract, which means we started the due diligence period. In other words, we are now testing you know, zoning, building requirements, etc., um, title issues. Um, and once all those are cleared, we'll basically close on the property and it will become ours. At a meeting Wednesday night, some community members expressed concern over the change in ownership. However, Ron says he is only handling the real estate end of the deal and will work closely with Advent House Ministries, Holy Cross, St. Vincent de Paul, and other nonprofits for more assistance. If the program, if, if we work with our partners and say the type of people we're going to house here will require 24 7 staff, then that's what we do. If that's going to be a more uh, independent population um, that will be using this really like their housing, like you and I go home every day, then it won't need the 24 7 supervision. Even after the meeting, St. Therese parishioner Paul Teslawiz, who moderated the meeting Wednesday, says he believes a lot of questions and concerns remain in the community. I think there's a lot more discussion that needs to take place between the residents, the city of Lansing, and the buyer before this thing moves forward. A parking variance agreement is the final step in the process before a final sale is reached. That would allow the church to lease out a number of its parking spaces to the nonprofit. After that, every resident living within 300 feet of the facility will receive a notice calling them to a public hearing. Reporting, I'm Margaret Cahill, Fox 47 News.